Hello, I'm Lauren Ativo, and this is Safety First, powered by Embrace Pet Insurance. Embrace knows that a well-trained dog is a safe dog, and that's why in today's video, we're going to share tips for introducing new dogs. Whether you're visiting a friend with a dog, bringing home a new four-legged friend, or strolling down the block in your neighborhood, there are lots of factors to consider about if, when, and how to safely introduce your dog. The first thing to think about is whether your dog is ready. The key to understanding the emotional state of your dog is to learn your dog's body language. Luckily, there's an app for that. It's called Dog Decoder. Do you know how your dog responds to people, children, and other dogs? Does your dog seem friendly with relaxed eyes and soft wiggly body and tail wagging? Or does your dog's tail tuck? Do they bark and lunge? Do the hackles come up on their back? If your dog expresses these behaviors, it's probably best to consult a reward-based dog trainer for assistance. A fearful dog isn't safe to introduce to any person or animal. The benefits gained by learning how to relieve their stress will go a long way towards awesome introductions. Your dog will thank you. I promise. If you're lucky enough to have a dog who is well-mannered, confident, and enjoys social interactions, this video is for you. Now, your dog loves other dogs. But what's the dog you want to introduce them to like? Never introduce dogs without asking if they're friendly and then paying attention to the other dog's body language. I recommend meeting on neutral ground, somewhere quiet with little distractions or other animals, like a cul-de-sac. Greetings on neutral territory help alleviate stress and the tendency to feel protective of their home. With both dogs on leash connected to a harness to protect their fragile neck, begin by walking on opposite sides of the street so that you and your dog can observe the other dog's body language. You essentially want to create a human sandwich walking together. Make sure both dogs are calm and that the leashes are tension-free as you approach. Allow the dogs to meet and sniff hello for about three to five seconds and then keep moving. Start walking together so that they can sniff one another and the environment. Don't force an introduction. Allow the dogs to go at their own pace. If all goes well, enjoy a walk and allow them to interact a bit more and then call it a day. Short introductions at first are best. The next time out, you may choose to have a play date or enjoy a longer walk. If the dogs seem like a good match, perhaps move to a secure fenced in yard to allow the dogs freedom to play and explore together. Always watch for each dog's body language and frequently interrupt play with recall games. Each handler should practice calling and rewarding their own dog. This helps keep the play from becoming too rough and is also a really great way to practice recall. By going to separate handlers and then being rewarded, that can help create a positive association to their new dog friend in a manner that is safe and non-competitive. In summary, remember, you are your dog's advocate and you know them best. So do what's best for your dog and don't be shy to tell people if you'd rather they give your dog space. Greetings are tricky, and being their advocate will go a long way in bite prevention. Thanks for watching. Remember, with force-free positive reinforcement methods, we can help empower our dogs by teaching them that making good choices is rewarding. If you like what you see here, click thumbs up and subscribe to the Embrace channel. And please, comment below with a video of your dog showing off what they've learned. Until next time.